Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be so much fun because it is the second video in the November collaboration that I am participating in where each week for the month of November there are six channels. Look below because there's going to be links to their channels with the day of the week that they're going to be uploading their video. And all six of us are going to be doing recipes featuring dough. Different kinds of dough. Um, there's going to be dough like with the little the tubes, like the crescent dough kind of tubes, some of those. Doughs that you can make and put in the freezer for slice and bake cookies. Maybe some cookies already made that you can freeze and bring out easily for the holidays. Breads, um, cakes, all kinds of stuff. All four of my recipes will be using home ground wheat. Um, if you don't have home ground wheat, that's fine. You can just buy whole wheat um, and use it. The recipe that I'm making tonight, though, is about 50-50 with all-purpose flour and whole wheat, and it is snickerdoodle cookies, and they're so good. I just love them. So I'm excited to make those for you. Um, I'm going to get things set up, and let's get started. Here's the ingredients you need to make these terrific snickerdoodle cookies. Now, first, I've got my oven preheated to 400. I've got a cookie sheet, and I like to use those silicone uh, mats on there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I like to use a cookie sheet with one of these silicone mats. Um, it's just something I like to do. I think it makes the bottom of the cookies nicer. And then what's going to happen here is I have a number of ingredients set out. But I will tell you, I did modify it a little bit, but I'll tell you what I did. First of all, I have a half a cup of shortening, and I'm just using Crisco. One and a half cups of sugar, but this is where I modified it. I want to try to cut back on the amount of sugar. Helps with calories and also just because we're getting older and we probably shouldn't eat as much sugar. We are people who love sugar. So I did, uh, I don't get any benefits from this, but I found this sugar replacement called Swerve. I really like it. It does really well to replace sugar. It tastes like sugar. It measures like sugar. You can put it just flat out and replace your sugar with it. So what I've done is I've done about half and half. Um, about 50-50 of swerve and uh, sh regular sugar to equal one and a half cups. I've got two eggs, which I have already cracked, and they're in a bowl. I've got two and three quarters cups of flour. And what I did with that is it is half and half. It's about 50-50 of home ground wheat flour and regular white all-purpose flour. Then I have two teaspoons, so I've got my cream of tartar, and it will call for two teaspoons of cream of tartar. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and I will use one teaspoon of baking soda. I've got my baking soda ready to go, and that's it. And I, yeah, I got my quarter teaspoon of salt. I showed you that. Now, the other thing that I have is I have sugar and cinnamon, and that's what's going to coat the outside of the snickerdoodle ball when I just before I put them on the cookie sheet. Now that's one thing I am going to use sugar for because that is one thing that Swerve does not do well is to do like a coating on a cookie. So I'm going to use regular sugar for that. So here we go. First off, got my little, uh, I've got my mixer ready to go and I'm going to mix the shortening and one and a half cups of sugar and the eggs. So I'm going to put my shortening in there and then get that in there. And the one and a half cups of sugar and then the two eggs and I'm going to turn that on the oh I gotta plug it in I can't believe I didn't even plug that in I don't leave my appliances plugged in so I forgot to turn on. okay so there's that now I'm gonna put the eggs in there And I'm going to let that go and blend it all until it's thoroughly mixed. And then I'm going to come back and I'll add the flour and the other dry ingredients. So let this go a couple seconds and I'll be right back to you. All right, I've got that all blended. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rest of the dry ingredients and I'm going to mix them together. Now, first of all, you just want to blend all these. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit off the top of this smaller container of flour. And I'm going to put it in there, and then I'm going to kind of blend this so that it mixes up nice. And then I can put that in uh, as we mix it. So there's some flour. Now I'm going to put in the two teaspoons of cream of tartar, and I'm going to put it right in this jar. Let's see if I can get that out of there without spilling. Okay, there's one, 
two teaspoons of cream of tartar. There we go. And now a half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of soda, baking soda. I've got that right here. And there we are. Teaspoon of baking soda. And now a half a, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. That's going to go in there too. So I've got all those dry ingredients mixed in to that flour. And I'm just going to mix them up nice so that they're nicely mixed in there. And you can see that whole wheat flour when you grind. If this is the uh, hard white wheat ground out very fine. And you can barely tell the difference between it and all-purpose flour. All right, so now I'm going to turn my mixer on. And I'm going to start mixing this in. I'm just going to blend it together to make a nice dough. And I'm going to keep this little dish out because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to put the, the sugar and the cinnamon in to roll the little dough balls. So I'm going to let that continue to mix until it comes up to a nice cookie dough texture. I will show you how it looks. There you go. And I'm just going to let that continue to mix. It should just take a couple more seconds and I'll be back to you and we'll coat those with the cinnamon sugar on the outside and then we'll put them in the oven. All right, there you go. That's what the dough looks like. It's terrific. And now I like to take one of these little scoopers and make my cookies out of these because I think that would keep them a nice uniform size. Now I'm just going to put this in my palm and make it a nice ball. And I took my um, two teaspoons of cinnamon and my two tablespoons of sugar. Oops, I need to mix those. I put those in um, this little dish and I'll mix those up. So that's nice and blended. And I'm going to take the little balls, the cookie balls, and I'm going to put them, roll them in this, and then I'm going to put them on the cookie sheet. And they are going to bake for 8 to 10 minutes. They'll puff up, and then they will kind of flatten back out. So I like to put them on a rack also when they come up, like a cooling rack. All right, let me get that cookie out. There I am. I'm going to roll that cookie dough, and I'm going to roll it in that cinnamon sugar blend and now I'm just gonna lay it on my little um, silicone sheet there we are there we go these are so good and the fact that they have the whole ground wheat in them make them so that they're very filling and you'll find that you won't eat as many cookies when um, when you use home ground wheat in your baked goods and I don't know, I'm trying to cut back on sugar and I'm trying to include wheat more so that we uh, eat less of things because they're very filling. And it's also just healthier. So I'm enjoying that. So I used to do a lot of that and then I got lazy because I was working. It was just easier to kind of have things quick and convenient. But I'm kind of in the mood to get back to good old cooking from scratch really really good food. I mean, I cook from scratch a lot, but uh, but doing things like grinding my wheat and stuff, that kind of took a side sidebar for a while. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and then I will come back to you once I have them all in the tray and I'm ready to put them in the oven. All right, there they are. I am going to put these in the oven now at 400 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes. I'll bring you back. I'll have my cookie rack out here. And there's enough dough to probably make a whole, um, a whole nother dozen. So I'm going to put these in the oven and I'll be back to you when they're done. All right, those cookies are done. They took about a full 10 minutes, but I made bigger cookies. So if you like a chewy, soft cookie, this is the one to go for. That is so good. It is so good. I know you're going to love it. So I hope you go check out everybody's November videos because they're awesome. And I hope you try this recipe. I'll put it in the link so that are in the in the description so that you um, have the recipe. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.